T minus 20 seconds. Falcon 9 is configured to flight pressure. T minus 15. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Materials engineer, and I'm going to talk you through some of what you're seeing and hearing as the vehicle continues to ascend. You can tell that we've had a successful liftoff initially. The Falcon 9 has cleared the towers, and it is rapidly approaching uh, what's called maximum aerodynamic pressure. This is known as Max Q. It's when the rock is pushing seconds. hardest against the Speed atmosphere. Speed 550 you can meters hear per second. Downrange distance 2.3 kilometers. You can see the engine plume. Stage one propulsion is nominal. The engine plume widening as the rocket is increasing in altitude and there's less pressure. All the power still look healthy. Yeah. MVAC has begun chill. MVAC chill means that the second stage engine is preparing itself to ignite. Shortly after main engine cutoff. We're going to separate the stages and begin the second stage ignition. T plus two minutes, speed 1.2 kilometers per second, downrange distance 11 kilometers. Main engine cutoff approaching shortly. The fairings have successfully deployed. You can hear everyone is phenomenally excited here. The Merlin vacuum engine is burning bright as it's moving up to speeds approaching 8 kilometers per second. The first stage will soon begin its series of three burns to head back towards Cape Canaveral. First, it will reorient itself. It will reorient itself using cold gas thrusters. It will perform three more burns as it approaches landing zone one. Stage one boost back is starting. The boost back is the primary burn that will get the vehicle moving more Stage slowly is and heading back to Cape Canaveral. Track position a signal.
Man, that is awesome. We are well on our way to taking Orbcom to orbit and that boost back burn. That's the first step of a really intense process to get that stage one back on land, man. Yeah, like uh, so many things just happened. <laughs> my, my heart beat twice. <laughs> two beats since we were on last, first of all. Secondly, uh, there were so many important things. There was first the, the takeoff, uh, the immediate takeoff, which is just a huge relief. <laughs> then there's max Q, and you have the maximum pressure. Past that, huge relief. Then the stage separation, and everyone here went nuts. It's crazy. Here going crazy. <laughs> um, and, uh, and then the boost back. So everything is so far looking great, right? So far, so good. Yeah, that boost back burn is going to go on for 30 seconds, and then it's going to cut off. We're going to flip the stage back around, and as we enter that atmosphere, those grid fins are going to pop out and start the guidance in through the atmosphere. And so we're about four minutes away from when it would touch down, right? Exactly, okay. yes, about four minutes away. <laughs> Everyone's really excited. It's a lot of energy. Awesome. Yeah, so much energy. So much energy. Yeah, that boost, bar, boost back burn is really important because it reorients us back down to the launch site back down to landing zone one, as opposed to normally after the first stage separates from a rocket, that first, Each sorry, after the second stage separates from a rocket, that first stage will continue on a uh, sort of ballistic trajectory and crash into the ocean, but we are coming back to land. Uh, one of the things I think that is, is another thing that I, just not that intuitive, is what, it, what an orbit is. Uh, and so right now, the, the, the second, second stage, stage is, is going far right, into orbit. Right, yeah. it, it, is, it is going faster and faster and higher and higher to try to ping these satellites off into orbit, and what that what that means is, uh, you know, you're not floating in orbit. Uh, you know, it, the gravity is almost the same as it is on Earth. So what's happening is it's almost like the second stage is like a giant, a, 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 a giant throwing uh, the satellites yeah, exactly. as hard yeah, as you yeah. can, uh, so that they're going 17,000 miles an hour. So you can basically curve around the Earth. They're falling, but they're going so fast that they're actually curving at the same curvature of the Earth. And, and well, yeah, and I know the same thing. A lot of people, I. A lot of people that I think about think of space as just going up really high and back right. down, which is a lot of like space tourism kind of things. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to deliver satellites and stuff like that. They're super fast, really fast sideways, which yes. is why it's really hard to bring this stage back because the faster you go, the harder it gets actually come back as well. Yes. So and also, you know, being able to get all of these satellites into that orbit, that's really hard, but then 11. having the 11 yes, and getting them to exactly maintain like their orbit is also really difficult. But let's check in actually with John Innsbrucker for another update on how both the second stage burn is going and also how that first stage is looking too. We're at T plus 7 minutes, 30 seconds, everything continues to go nominal as we like to say here at SpaceX. Falcon 9 continues to power its way into orbit, the second stage is building up to 4.7 Gs of acceleration. Now currently we're about two minutes away from shutdown of the second stage engine to get into orbit. Engine performance continues to be nominal. I'm looking at the trajectory. We're going right down the middle of the track. That's good news. We're right where we want to be. For the first stage, you heard about the first boost back burn. Coming up in another minute or stage so, or coming up very shortly, is the entry burn and then hopefully the landing burn. And you hear the cheering in the background. The first stage is on its way. Everyone's super excited out here. That burn's gonna last about another 30 seconds or so, slowing ourselves down as we get closer and closer to the landing pad. Yes. Now this stuff is super, super hard. Not only do we have a series of maneuvers that we need to achieve in order to get that rocket back down to the to the ground, um, but it's actually a super complicated thing. Like you did some cool analogy and some cool math to figure this well, out. I, right? I tried to figure out how hard this really is, and so I kind of. I crunched the numbers with the size of the rocket and the size and how high it's going. Yeah. What's happening with the first stage is it's like launching a pencil over the Empire State Building, <laughs> having it reverse, come back down, and land on a shoebox on the ground in a windstorm. That's that's the what's wind is the critical part. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't think I could throw a pencil over the Empire State it's Building and catch them. It's insane to do. And the crazy thing is we're like 30 seconds away from this. From this, from this awesome. crazy the, maneuver. The, the, yeah. This extremely energetic room is you can, it's a hush. <laughs> Should be deploying in about oh, 10 seconds or so. That is a view it. from the landing pad. That is that first stage coming back down to land and kicking up the land. History in the making, guys. Oh, 
Nope, Lone has landed. LZ1, the Falcon has landed. Landing operators moving to procedure 11.100, section 3 on LZ1 beating that and recovering that. Repeat, the Falcon has landed. Thank <laughs> you.